The UFC has the one cash cow who everyone's aware of, Conor McGregor. The reason you're watching this video, for a lot of people, might be McGregor. For the reason a lot of people are MMA fans, might be because of Conor McGregor. I think it's no no surprise that he is 100% by far the biggest star in MMA history. He's one of the most popular combat or, combat sports athletes of all time. But his career's fading away, you know, he's getting drunk, he's on drugs you know, arguably on steroids, he's been losing his past couple of fights, he hasn't had a fight since 2021, and when he did, he, he broke his leg. He's in a very dark spot in his career right now, but we need a new star. Now, one thing I want to clarify is I don't think there will ever be another McGregor, I just don't think there will, and I think if there was, we would have heard of them by now. Um, I don't think there'll ever be a guy who is big as McGregor, but today I'm going to give you a list of people who I think could create a buzz that was on the same level as Conor McGregor. That was, well, maybe not the same level, but was on a somewhat a level of Conor McGregor. Essentially, people who I think could be huge stars in the UFC and potentially the biggest star in the UFC at one point. Now, there are some rules for this. Number one, they must be good on the mic. You can't just be someone like Jack Della Maddalena, who's impressive at fighting but has less personality than a cardboard box. So you have to be good on the mic. And you must have genuinely impressive skills. Obviously, you can't just be this you can't just be this trash talker, but then you can't you have to be good. You have to be a good fighter. You have to have somewhat impressive skills, a couple finishes on your in your career. You can't be a boring fighter. It's all good at getting these wins and being good on the mic, but then being being a Bilal Mohammed when it comes to fighting. You've got to be an interesting fighter. You've got to make people want to watch you fight. And you must be you must have a fairly new career in the UFC. So you couldn't have had like so for example, people like Justin Gaethje can't be the new McGregor because they've already lived a career. So you can't have already had a career in MMA. You kind of have to be a prospect. You kind of have to be upcoming. So you can't have been a UFC champion or been around in the UFC for too long. So, starting off, first of all, I'm going to go with another Irishman. I'm going with Ian Gary. I think he's got huge potential to be um, a huge star in the UFC. First of all, he's Irish, and obviously we all know McGregor's Irish, so he's kind of got that Irish, I don't know, that Irish, well, I don't know, how, the Irish buzz, I guess. He's pretty well-spoken on the mic. He's nowhere near as kind of a trash talker as McGregor. Um, I mean, he's not too nice. Like, I, I think he had a bit of beef with Jeff Neal. Um, but, he, 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 listen... He's well spoken on the mic. He knows what to say. He knows how to get the crowd going. He's not boring at all. He's interesting to listen to. Um, and if he was to trash talk someone, that would be pretty interesting. He creates a buzz when he fights as well. He's going to be fighting this weekend. I think he's the featured fight of the night. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the featured fight of the night. And he, he, he creates a buzz when he fights. You can't lie. He does create a big buzz when he fights. People know when he's fighting. It's a big deal. Um, and he has decently impressive skills so far. That knockout that he got over Daniel Rodriguez was so impressive because Daniel Rodriguez was a fairly tough, it was the toughest test for him so far, and he smoked him. He has had times in his UFC career where he's been a bit exposed and he has got caught, but I think he's got so far displayed decently impressive skills and he's entertaining to watch. I'm going to be tuning in at UFC 292 to watch him face Neil Magny because he's a very entertaining fighter to watch. He's not boring. He's fun to watch. He's got an impressive style. He's a kickboxer, so he's not like... You know, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, he's a very interesting guy to watch, very fun, and in my opinion, Ian Gary has what it takes to be the next McGregor. He creates a buzz. He knows what to say on the mic. Well spoken, and he's a good, entertaining fighter. If he goes out there and absolutely flatlines Neil Magny, it's going to be hard to say that he's not one of the best. You know, one of the best prospects in the UFC right now. So, starting off, I'm going to go with Ian Gary. Next up, I'm going to go with Sean O'Malley. Now, the one thing that critiques me from putting Sean O'Malley is the fact that he's he's fighting for a belt, and in my opinion, Sean O'Malley doesn't have the same buzz that McGregor did when McGregor was fighting for a belt, but I still think O'Malley's got potential. Um, he's already a huge star in the UFC. In my opinion, he's in top five, top ten biggest stars in the UFC right now, and if he wins the belt on Saturday, let's say he goes out there and flatlands... Um, uh, what's his name? Aljamain Sterling, he's going to create a huge buzz. He's going to be a huge star. People will be talking about him. He'll be getting headlines. He will, you know, this guy will probably be the most popular or one of the most popular champions in the UFC right now, maybe besides Adesanya. He's somewhat fun on the mic. I do think he's a little bit overrated. People talk about him as if he's one of the best trash talkers in the UFC. But then when he had a, when he had a press conference with Peter Yan, who doesn't even speak English, he got bodied. And he's a fun fighter to watch. I really like his style. You know, he's kind of got a weird kickboxing style. Very tongue, uh, tongue, very tall, very lanky. 
Um, he's got power as well. He can put people to sleep. So I'm going to say Sean O'Malley has what it takes to become a huge star. Already is a huge star, to be honest, but he can be even bigger. If he goes out there, flatlines Aljamain Sterling, and then flatlines him again, and then beats Marab, it's going to be hard to say he's not one of the biggest stars in the UFC. So I think it depends on how good he is in his next couple of fights. But the next fight is a make or break for him. And I think if he makes it, then he could be a huge star. Next, I'm going to go with... He's also fighting in UFC 292 as well, main event. Next, I'm going to go with Hamzat Chemaev. I think he's probably the closest thing we've had to McGregor. Like I said, with uh, Sean O'Malley, he's already a huge star, is Hamzat Chemaev. You know, a lot of people know about him. Even the casual MMA fans know about him. So, he's a well-known person. He's extremely dominant as well. The only fight in his career that hasn't really been dominant is the Gilbert Burns fight. But apart from that, the way he ragdolled Kevin Holland, nobody has done that to Kevin Holland before. Li Jing Liang, no one's done that to Li Jing Liang before. He's going to be fighting Paulo Costa, which is by far going to be his toughest test um, at UFC 294. And if he ragdolls Paulo Costa like it's nothing, like this is kind of like he, he's kind of got the career start that McGregor had, where McGregor was just beating people in the fashions that he shouldn't have beaten, sleeping people that who shouldn't have been slept. And Hamlet's kind of got the same start to a career where he's beating people in ways that he shouldn't be beating them. He's genuine champion material. I, I do think he will be champion one day. People think people are going as far to say he's going to be the first triple champ in the UFC, which is crazy, but listen, anything's possible. He's a trash talker as well. He's kind of like the evil Habib. He knows how to trash talk. He knows how to rile up his opponents. He's trash talked or had beef with nearly every one of his opponents. Um, and he's already very well known, like I said, to the average casual UFC fan. A lot of them know Hamzat Chemaev. So if he goes out there, if he becomes champion, he's already going to be a huge star. He's kind of like a mix of McGregor and Habib, which the two biggest stars in the UFC's history. It's crazy. So I think Hamzat Chemaev has genuine what it takes to become the next McGregor. And I don't doubt that he, he listen, he's already a huge star and he will continue to rise as a star. He's, he's extremely talented, extremely dominant. He's ragdoll in wrestling style. He's fun to watch as well. Just because he's a wrestler doesn't mean he's boring. He's one of the funnest wrestlers to watch in the UFC because he doesn't just take them down and lay them. He slams them, mauls them and finds a way to finish them. And that's why Hamzat Chemaev is a huge star. Next up, this is a very, very weird option because this person isn't even in the UFC. I've been following this fighter since there was an amateur, right? I've witnessed their their, their amateur career and then I, I was watching their first fight when they became professional and now they've got a big professional record. Lewis McGrillen. If you're in the UK and you know this guy, you'll know why. If you've never heard of this guy, which a lot of you won't because a lot of you are American, so if you've not heard of this guy, please just remember his name, Lewis McGrillen. Um, he's a PFL star. I think he's in the UFC uh, PFL um, tournament right now. But he's a PFL star. He's undefeated 8-0. I think he's only lost one or two amateur fights as well. Besides that, he's smoked everyone else. He finishes nearly every single opponent by KO. I think I want to go as far to say that he's won every single fight by finish. Or maybe only one or two fights not by finish. But he's won at least 80-90% of his fights by finish. He's a knockout artist. In the UK, he's created so much buzz. He's not even in the UFC and so many people know about him. So many people have heard about him. Even in PFL, he's getting the crowd to chant his name. So he's kind of got that early... He, he is the closest thing right now, in my opinion, to early McGregor. He is the closest thing to early McGregor. He's a trash talker. He creates beef with his opponents. He's a trash talker. Maybe he's not, not being humble, but he, listen, you watch his face off. He's pushing him about. I'm just saying, remember this guy's name. He is a huge, huge potential. I think in the next three fights, I think if he wins the PFL tournament, or, I don't know, wins a couple more PFL fights, I genuinely think he'll be in the UFC soon. And we give it three, four years, and this guy will be a huge star in the UFC. Just remember his name, Louis McGrillan. He's a huge PFL star. I've never really seen anyone have this much buzz outside of the UFC. I'm going with Louis McGrillan. Probably don't know who he is, but trust me. Watch his fights. Watch the you know watch watch everything about him. Next up, another English fighter. Now you're all gonna roast me for this one, Paddy Pimlet. Listen, before you all start typing that I'm talking trash, I'm I'm, I'm waffling. Listen, he's already created a huge buzz in the UK. I've said the word buzz about fifty times, but he has. He's already had. He's only had four UFC fights, and he's already a massive star. He was fighting. Was it the core main event of UFC two nine two? Or was it the featured fight of the night? I forgot what it was, but he was on the main card after four fights, and he's already a massive star. 
no fighter has four fights in the UFC and gets himself on a main card. Maybe besides Alex Pereira, I don't know. But what I'm saying is he's already a huge star. He's got fans and haters, but people tune in to watch. Listen, a lot of people in the UK are fans of Paddy Pimblett. A lot of people outside the UK hate Paddy Pimblett. But regardless of if you love him or hate him, people watch him to see him win or lose. People tune in to see him get knocked out like Molly McCann. People tune in, and whether you're a hater or a fan, it doesn't matter. If you're tuning in, you're tuning in. So he's got people watching him. And just imagine he mogs the next couple of opponents. Imagine Paddy Pimlet versus Bobby Green, UFC 295. Paddy Pimlet wins by first round KO. Imagine. Then he goes on, fights, I don't know, Gamrot, finishes him in the second round. If he starts finishing some of these higher ranked opponents, yes, it might be unlikely, but if he does that, it's going to be hard to say that this guy's not going to be a huge... Like, he's already got kind of like the early McGregor thing. The only thing he's lacking is that, that, that sort of like dominant finish style. If he improves as a fighter and he starts picking wins over some ranked opponents at lightweight, he will create a huge buzz for himself. Even in the UK, I haven't really seen a fighter make a crowd go as wild for someone as Paddy Pimlet. You watch his fight nights in the UK, his first, I think it was his, his second and his third fight in the UFC, he created so much buzz in the UK. I keep saying buzz. He created so much like you look at the crowd they were going wild for Paddy Pimlet on his second and third fight so here in the UK he's a huge star I'm going to say Paddy Pimlet and last but not least Ilya Taporia he's kind of like the heel of the featherweight division he's he's very talented he's kind of like the, the villain of the featherweight division and even though his English isn't great he's always willing to trash talk he trash talked Paddy Pimlet he's already started a bit of beef with Volk um, yeah he, he trash talks fight quite a lot even though he can't even speak English that good, I think he's Spanish. He's undefeated as well. I think he's foot. I don't. I don't know his record, but he's undefeated, and he's got some insane skills. The wrestling he showed against Josh Emmett, he destroyed Josh Emmett. Completely shut down Bryce Mitchell, knocked out. Um, what's he called? Jai Herbert. This guy. Even what he did to Ryan Hall as well. The way he completely dismantled Ryan Hall. Ilya Tapuri has got the skills to pay the bills, and he could beat Volk. Like I've said this before, people say, people were saying that Yair Rodriguez is kind of going to be the Leon Edwards, the underrated guy who comes in and sleeps the champion. If anyone's going to be that guy, it's going to be Ilya Taporia, the evil Spanish little midget who comes and destroys Volk. Not, imagine he, he flatlines Volk. He will become a star. Undefeated guy who can trash talk, who's just flatlined the pound for pound best. He will become a star. If he goes in there and flatlines Alexander Volkanovsky, He's a massive star already, so I'm going to say to Pori, but that is my list of people who I think could potentially replace McGregor or be on the same level of McGregor. Please let me know if you agree or disagree, and thanks for watching.